Welcome back to Arkansas. Howdy, everybody. It's cold. But it's very peaceful. It is. We're actually excited to be camping in Arkansas. It is, it was a rainy day today and kind of chilly, but it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend, finally. High 60s. And we have something really fun planned. Sunday. For Sunday. So tomorrow we're just going to be chilling around camp, but we have some fun planned for Sunday. Can't wait. And we have someone that you love so much. Take a wild guess. Jonathan. <laughs> That's our bro, man. We haven't seen him since the Tucson trip, actually. We really yeah, haven't seen him either. We haven't. Yeah. We've Sometimes just been we busy. might see him, you know, in between weeks when we're not vlogging, but we haven't if seen him. If y'all didn't know, he does live an hour away from us. So he has his own college and work. So he does his own thing and we try to we try to sync up on the weekends when we can. It's usually just whenever we come to Arkansas though that we can. Mm-hmm. Come we come to Arkansas? Oh yeah, we're out. What we've do you been, mean? Sorry, we've been gone for so. We've <laughs> no, been, we haven't. We've been gone a lot. Think about it. Big oh yeah, Dan, we have Tucson, been gone a lot. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I feel like this is a vacation. Like, hey, we're back in Arkansas. It's been a while. So we have already, we just got through setting up everything, and we're just gonna chill out for a little bit before I start cooking dinner. But for tonight, I'm making a. Uh, oh, it's a casserole, but it is a a black bean corn tortilla salsa cheddar cheese casserole um i'm gonna bake it in the oven so i'm gonna get that started here in a little bit but we're just gonna chill for now so i'm gonna get started with dinner and i know some of y'all really missed my cooking on the last two vlogs but i'm back and we're making a mexican dish because i really like mexican food this is a really easy simple recipe you can cook it at home you can cook it camping it's minimal ingredients and super easy so let's get started
Good morning. There is just something that you can't beat coming to the Washita's for a beautiful morning on a creek. I don't know the name of this creek, but we have been here before in a vlog that we were trying to show y'all what it's like to actually look for dispersed camping spots. But today is supposed to be a beautiful day compared to yesterday when it was raining the whole time. Right, honey? Yeah, today is supposed to be sunshiny and beautiful. Right now, just trying to get this fire going because it is 35 degrees outside. Yes, it is a little chilly, but if you stand in the sun, it really starts warming you up. It really does. What are you cooking this morning? So I'm going to make uh, bacon and eggs and then blueberry biscuits this morning. We've been craving them. They're so good. Nothing better than a cup of espresso in the Washita Mountains next to a beautiful creek I'm on a sorry. sunny day. Hold on, did you say espresso? Yeah. Espresso. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very relaxing and sunny and warm. And I made those blueberry biscuits and they were so good. I did do something a little different. If you noticed, um, I did not have any powdered sugar at home, so I had to substitute with regular sugar. So instead of, if I use the powdered sugar, once I took them out, once they were done cooking, I would have just poured that on top. The mixture is powdered sugar, heavy cream, vanilla. But since I wanted the granules to melt, I went ahead a minute before the time was up, pulled them out, poured it all over with some butter, put it back in, and let it bake for that one more minute and it was like what like a glazed donut it it was like a cross between a glazed donut a biscuit a scone mm. and something from heaven it was so good i mean it really was guys this is what camping's all about this is the highlight this is the best part of it right here mornings mornings are my favorite time of day well not when i'm in a hurry but mornings are my favorite time of day I love coffee, I love breakfast, I just, I love mornings. It has been a beautiful morning so far, but now it's afternoon, and Kelly is knocking out her little yoga for the day. You're actually running behind, babe. I know. She's not even happy about that. Last time we were here, I had an itching to go explore north of here, correct, Wes? Yeah, so north of here. And she said that I could do that today, right, babe? All right, so I want to head up this way, see if I can find any cool waterfalls or whatever else I can find that gets me all geeked out as she does her little yoga. So, babe, I will be back here when I'm back. You'll be here? Yep. All right, then. So, right behind our camp, we showed you last time it was dark. The creek that we uh, keep filming is over there, camp here. But then there's a little, little creek over here. And when we showed y'all this last time, it was dark, you know, the content was kind of pixely, but this is really cool. This is a spring-fed little pond that feeds into this creek right here. My 
might not have told you where we're actually kind of located. We're at the base of a mountain and the peak is northwest of us. And it's called Blue Mountain. And it sits at 2,682 feet is its peak. And we're probably right about 2,000 feet right now of elevation. Really remote over here. The camp spot that we're at is probably the only one within uh, maybe like a 45 minute drive. Okay, that's good. All right. Check this out, right here. It looks like, like a dome shape on both of them. That's pretty darn cool. And you can even see here where the different layers of rock, whenever the mountain was pushed up and it went up at an angle, all these ridges of the Washitals, right there, you can kind of see how the ground was actually uplifted and right here as well but this I am not sure what that was I mean I know it was uplifted but it looked like a like a big ball of clay or something was made right there if any of you know what that little rock formation how that was formed that'd be pretty cool put in the comments below because I geek out over stuff like that it's pretty sweet let's keep going I just found something else interesting. There's a smell, pungent smell of death, of course, as always, when you smell death. And there's all this fur. It looks like a deer. And if that's a deer, which it strongly looks like deer fur, um, there could be a mountain lion that killed it. And we do have mountain lions in this area. But that's where it ends. But I don't see any other signs of bone or anything. So whatever it was dragged it off further. I just don't know what direction. And we probably, I mean, I've only been hiking for 30 minutes. I'm not far from camp at all. I won't tell Kelly about this. Kelly's gonna be super happy with me. Found an old cedar tree. You know what cedar trees mean, right? Sniffing sticks. And there's one down right here. Uh. 
She's gonna be so happy. My angel princess got her a sniffing stick. Don't know how I'm gonna carry it, but I got it. Cause I'm a good husband. Back pocket. What have you been doing, babe? I did yoga and just chilling. Mm. I found you a sniffing stick. Mm -hmm. I lost your sniffing stick. In the water. The way it fell out of my back pocket. Mm. Number two, I wasn't going to tell you this, but there was a bunch of dead fur from a deer and some skin left over, and it looked like something dragged it off, which means if it dragged it off, I'm thinking it might have been a mountain lion. Okay. Well, didn't we just see some paw prints over there, though? Yeah, that was Bobcat. <clears throat> are you expecting to get a different kind of reaction out of Yeah. Him? I just like how cool you are. See? <laughs> so I married this chick. She's just like, yeah, all right, whatever, man. I've been laying in the sun. I don't care. I mean, obviously, it had a deer to eat, so it ain't worried about us. You're genius. I love the way that you think. You just still don't like snakes. I didn't see a snake at all too cold i think so i was laying in the hammock over there and I actually moved because the air coming off the water i was cold really mm -hmm. <laughs> you just keep doing whatever we just got done recording kelly's little camp kitchen tour and i wanted to say this only in this vlog because we're going to start doing these on tuesdays to help answer questions for y'all so you all have anything that y'all would like for us to cover or a topic that you would like to learn more about just put it in the comments below or reach out to us on facebook or instagram messenger and we will try to do a tuesday like little short video on those things but we will continue to always post our eight o'clock thursday nights central standard time videos of our uh, little adventure vlogs that we do mm -hmm. i think we need to get some firewood what do you think but Jonathan's about to be here. No, he's not. <laughs> he's coming. We, I just don't think he's about to be here. Yeah, but he's our, he's like our go-to wood seeker. Yeah, but I feel like we should just get some. But why do we got to do it when he's going to be here? Okay, fine. We'll no, nah, I'm playing. It. I'm playing. He's been working hard today at the bike shop. He needs to come out here and relax. I, I can't do that to him. We know. I mean, he'll go get it anyway because he wants to. Then why do we do it? Because I might want to fire, like, before you get there. Touche. Let's go get some firewood. It is about 6.20 and Jonathan still has not arrived. We have done nothing but chill today and it has been amazing. And we're still waiting on him. And it's getting cold. So we decided we're going to go ahead and cook. And Kelly is cooking... Butternut squash ravioli in a cream sauce. That was kind of cool actually. <laughs> First thing we need to do 
We need to toast some walnuts. So I'm gonna let my pan heat up. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter in there. We're gonna toast those around. I also have this skillet over here uh, filled up with water. I'm going to boil my ravioli, so I'm gonna get that going. I have here some whole walnuts. They need to be chopped up a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is just basically chop them up as they're in this pan here toasting. And this is a really easy dish. You can make this on a weeknight. Uh, if you've been working till five o'clock and you're like, hey, I just need something quick. This is super easy. I think it probably only takes 30 minutes or you can make it camping. It's so easy. Which means if Jonathan doesn't get here within the next 30 minutes, it's he be will cold. be eating a cold dish. My walnuts are toasted. So in the meantime, because I'm going to use the skillet, I'm going to put them back in the little dish that they came in. I'm going to shred some Parmesan. I would need, if I was going to do just for me and Cody, I'd probably do one fourth cup of Parmesan, but since Jonathan is supposedly coming, I don't worry that. I'm going to do about a little over one third cup. Okay, time for some skillet action. I'm going to melt all this butter in this pan here. I'm going to pour some heavy cream. My butter is completely melted, so I'm going to pour some heavy cream in here. I have some sage here that I'm going to go ahead and chop up, and I'm using this little bitty knife so I don't have to do a lot of dishes. It doesn't have to be finely chopped. We like sage, so it's good. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of that in here. And it looks like my water is finally boiling. So that means I'm going to throw in my raviolis. I'm going to let the raviolis cook. The package says six minutes, so that's what we're going to do. I'll let my heavy cream, butter, sage simmer for about a minute. I'm going to add the next thing, which is this Parmesan here. Some pepper, of course. Some salt. Give it another little twirl. And last is some parsley. And I'm just gonna let this simmer until it's thick to your consistency for your pasta. My noodles still have a couple more minutes. We've drained the raviolis, they're done, my sauce is done. And if I could fit all the raviolis in this pan, I would, but I don't think that I can. So I'm gonna have to just dirty up this one. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and dump this sauce in here with the noodles. And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. However, that's not the end of it, right? Well, the, you know, the pecans, I mean the walnuts I toasted at the beginning, that's gonna go on top. And it's seven o'clock and Jonathan is still not here. Well, it's 6.57 and Jonathan's still not here. I guess here. we should go ahead and eat a lot. I guess so. You just wanna keep that covered for him? So then we'll take some walnuts and just sprinkle them on top. Nice little treat. I always like to add a little more salt. And pepper, of course. Bon appetit. Look who's here. He's coming. He's creeping. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Finally made it. <laughs> we were waiting for you to get firewood and we're glad we didn't wait on you. Yeah, it's got a nice warm fire now. Yeah, your food's cold. <laughs> yeah. She'll heat I it can back heat up it up, though. 
Well, what happened? I've been moving out of Tyler's all day. Oh, okay. See, I told her. I told her that's probably what it was. Yeah. That or trying to figure out how to put that kayak in the back of that truck. I did take a minute. Yeah. But that yeah. having racks on top. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's here and I'm going to warm up his dinner. Jonathan is setting up camp. Kelly and I just got done doing some dishes. You, you get it off? I think we're going to call it a night. We're kind of tired. All right, guys. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We are trying to get ourselves rolling because we are going kayaking this morning. And thank God Jonathan showed up because we wouldn't be kayaking the Caddo. If you wouldn't have showed up, that would have been a horrible day. I've been looking forward to the Caddo for like two weeks. We'd have to beg someone to shuttle us. <laughs> the Caddo is named after the Caddo Indians that lived in the region. And uh, it goes through Glenwood uh, and feeds Lake DeGray. And it's a beautiful river and there's tons of springs that feed it so it's got water in it year round and we are going to hit a section from glenwood glenwood down but before we go we got to get energy kelly's gonna make it something delicious we have to get energy well yes what are we making this are morning cooking protein shakes? are we cooking protein? we're eating fried bread <laughs> that's a lot of energy right there no it's french toast We have packed up camp. We're almost done here and then we'll be on our way. We'll see you when we get there. Hello, and we're at the put-in at Glenwood, Caddo River. We got our boats ready, we got everything packed up, we got snacks, and we're ready to go. We're gonna hit the water. Now we're ready. Yeah, you excited, Jonathan? Excited. This is his excitement. <laughs> Go right, go right, go right, 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 right. That gum.
Many of you might not know this, I used to mountain bike race. And then Kelly started camping and I kind of started trying to still train for mountain bike racing. But then I started kayaking. And the best times in Arkansas to kayak is the spring and that is the start of the mountain bike racing season. And I just asked Jonathan if he understands why I no longer mountain bike race. Totally understand. I mean, when you get out on a river like this, you just, you just don't care anymore. Life just becomes easy. Right, baby? It's like island time. Dude, camping's island time. What you talking about? Everything we do is island time. you see her <laughs> so guys i told kelly i said go river right river right because it's good <laughs> and i said because whenever you get close to the takeout point it's uh it's going to keep dragging you down and then she's like ah i see what you're saying i made it yeah but you almost kept going no, you're close no. all right darling All right. Woo. I love the Caddo River. Oh, that was fun. Woo. That is by far one of my favorite. Uh, the Caddo River is my favorite. It's in the top 10. Top 10, well, hold on. It can't it's, be it's your in favorite the top, in the top 10. It's in the top five. But it still can't be your favorite in the top five. It's either your favorite or it's in my top we'll five. We'll have a lot. It's in my top five. Of what? Favorite rivers. All right, then. I agree with her. That river is in the top five of my favorite rivers. Love it. But if you like this vlog, make sure you give us a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the other. Bye.